Hey guys, what's up? It's iGem and how is everybody doing? And we are back with some more Minecraft. So we're leaving off today and we are going. There is a village that we need to visit over here. Uh, for our outdoor area, we I want to make a uh, night and day time uh, timer. <clears throat> Or basically an automatic night and day switch, uh, which you need a villager for because they go inside when it's nighttime. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just uh, dig out a hole for them under our <clears throat> under our area, and um, we'll put a trip wire or a door or something like that. Obviously, you have to have doors so they can go through it, but. Uh, it's pretty simple to do. Uh, we just need a villager. So my game plan is to fish the villager back to the portal. <laughs> and then once I get into the portal, I will put him in a minecart and push him to where we where we go. <laughs> uh, not a guarantee that it's going to work, but it seems like it would be the easiest way. Because there are literally no villages around my house whatsoever. I mean... Our seed was good when we started off, but now, I mean, like, we're, we got incredibly lucky with that giant mountain, but, uh, <laughs> uh, I think this might take a while, so, when, I'm not sure. Um, I need to see if there's even villagers up here first to be, to start off with. We have to go to the sand biome because there is, uh, that's where the village was. Let's see, which should be, like, right up here past this part right there. Yeah, that's there it is. Should have brought some potions with me. i run a lot faster that way. I gotta start using those potions. I never use them. But I've got myself three fishing poles, and I plan on fishing myself a villager back to my house. Um, it sucks, though, because, like, part of our rail is broken from gas. So now we have to fix it before we get back, or before we get him back. So uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do. We'll probably just maybe box him in or something once we get him back, hopefully. Uh, we'll see what happens. Because you can't, like, really draw them your way with anything besides these. So uh, it might be a long day. <laughs> uh, but the village should be right up here. It's a sandstone village. It was, like, the first of its kind. Uh, like, we generated the world right after that snapshot came out. And, uh, like, we literally just found one, like, the first day they came out. So it's pretty cool that we found that, but now we gotta find it again. Should be, like, right over this hill somewhere. Village, where are you? I think it's right over here. I don't know. If I don't find it in a second, I'm just gonna cut forward. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I was considering maybe bringing, like, four villagers with me, just in case. I don't know, though. We'll see if there's even any here. That's what I need to mainly check to see if there's any here. But um, We've been out of the chunks for a while, so they should be here. I haven't seen any. I don't see any yet, though. That is not a good sign. Villagers, where are you? Oh, there we go. There's one. Yeah, we got a couple here. We're fine. All right, guys. Now I begin the daunting task of bringing the villagers back to the house. New game plan, guys. New game plan. I am going to build another portal here. Uh, since we are a thousand blocks or closer, the nether portal will default back to our house. And I will start pushing villagers through because this is not working. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and start doing that now instead of the fishing pole idea because it was pretty much a giant failure. All right, guys. So I am uh, in a cave near the uh, the area of the spawner. I'm trying to find some obsidian, but I am not having very much luck. Uh, so I found this spawner. I haven't actually looked in the chest yet. It looks like a dead end too. Oh God, man! I'm not having very much luck here. Uh, anyway, so um, we are in the new snapshot, but I, I'm not sure if this was generated previously or not. So there might be a book enchantment in here. Failure. <laughs> That's what that was. Okay, anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you guys me opening the chest. Um, and then I'm going to keep looking for obsidian, apparently. So I'll be back. All right, guys, so I'm, like, randomly digging, right? Trying to find a cave, obsidian, lava, anything. I'm not having very much luck right now. But I did happen to run into some diamonds. <laughs> I was, like, I was going forward, not really having much luck. So I decided to turn. Uh, it's all redstone. Decided to mine it and found that. So let's go ahead and grab our fortune three pick and let's go at it. Two. So three from two. Ooh, that was a good one. So we got about nine diamonds from that. Hell yeah. I'm happy with that. All right, guys, I'm going to keep, I hear water. 
apparently I'm going in the right direction. I don't even need there to be like a new cave. I just need there to be wa lava or obsidian, which I hear both now. Where are you? It sucks actually. Ooh, I hear lava. I'm getting somewhere. Oh my god, dude. I've been down here for forever. It's literally been like 40 minutes. It's not very cool right now. Click you. I hear monsters too. Maybe I need to go up. I'm on like level 8, so. There we go. I found something. Alright. Oh, I've been here before. There's a torch there. Do I have any idea where I'm at? No. Hmm, cool. Apparently I didn't do a very good job of lighting this place up, though. There's a big old fort deal there. I left all kinds of stuff behind, too. Right, well, either we can turn that into water or get lava. And do that. What's over here? Ooh, there's obsidian. Perfecto. Man, I left all kinds of shit behind. What the fuck was I doing? Oh, this is pretty cool looking. Alright guys, I'm gonna collect this obsidian and get the heck out of here. If I find any more diamonds, I will show you. Other than that, I'm gonna get me some obsidian. Alright guys. Alright guys, this place is fucking full of adventure all of a sudden. I found this uh, spawner down here. Um, was it a spider spawner? Yeah. We don't need a spider spawner, so we'll just break it. But anyways, that, that's cool, man. Like we're finding all kinds of shit. Like we just left a bunch. It seems like we left a bunch of stuff behind. I don't think this is gonna have any of the book enchantments either. It only has one chest too. Well, I'll take the iron and the bucket. Eh, whatever. <laughs> all right, I got my obsidian, and I'm gonna start teleporting. Uh, I actually found another village. Just I think this was the very first village we ever went to, actually. Uh, I don't feel comfortable uh, putting those villagers back through there, though, because we're kind of far away. Uh, 1,024 blocks, I learned, on Blockville is the farthest you can go. The Sandstone Village should be right over here, uh, so I think we'll be okay. And if you're kind of wondering where we're at, if you go over to that jungle over there, the Stronghold's right there. So uh, we're not very far away from much of anything, to be honest with you. I mean, we're, we're doing pretty good. Uh, so now it's time to start transporting villagers back to our house. Success! Oh my god, that took forever. Hopefully it doesn't hit the top there. Man, um, so I ended up having to move the portal like three times. I'll go back and show you it. He hops right in the cart though, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, hopefully, I had to fix the track, so like, as you can see, if you look, like, you can't tell now, but, uh, we'll go back and I'll show you what I did in just a second to get him in there. Um, from this, it should be pretty easy because we can use the other cart track to get him back, um, which is really close to our house. Um, <clears throat> just have to break the cart, and uh, I have to run down here since I don't have an extra cart. But uh, majority of the time, I was I had the portal, and the portal was kind of far away from the village. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna move it towards the village, make it to where they walk right into it. I have another clever idea, I think, too, that I want to try. Uh, at nighttime, the villagers go inside their house. Why don't we put the portal on the other side of the door? I never thought about that either, you know? Like, portal on the other side of the door, they walk right in, go to us, and we can have, like, all kinds of villagers at our house. I didn't really give a crap about trading. I just, just I think it'd be kind of cool to have a village or something, you know? Uh, so let's go down here. <clears throat> but yeah, this is, this has been like an hour in the making. <laughs> I've been working on this for a while. All right, hello, villager. Uh, oh, before we do that, we should probably uh, block this off. I don't have any blocks in here. I don't think there's any down here. Let me check. Yeah, pretty much had to block everything off, though, so they don't wonder. Oh, there's nothing there. All right, well, unfortunately, we're going to have to use this pick, and I didn't want to. Oh, well, I guess. Hopefully, that'll be enough. I really just needed to make a like a barricade so he doesn't leave. That should work perfectly. There we go. So break the cart. Alright, you. Hey you. Go through the, the portal. 
He's like, oh, I want to go through the portal. All right, you force in my hand. Time to go fishing. Go through the portal. Arrgh! They go through super quick, though. Ugh, good God, man. Okay, so now he's going to be wandering around here. I don't want him to go back through. Da, da, da. Which way do we need to go? We need to go the other way. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Teamwork. Teamwork. Yeah, fine. You want to play like that? I'll play like that. Go. Go. At least he's not moving. I say that and then he moves. But if we can get him in the cart up here, we are good to go. You fucker. I will catch you on fire. <laughs> oh my god. Move! I don't want to do this too much. There we go. Go up. Go, go, go. Get in there. Never ever again, guys. Dude, get in the cart. No! Oh my god, that's terrible. Oh, I didn't want him to be pushed yet, because it's nighttime, but uh, he'll go straight to... I think he's actually going to go to the storage room, but what we need to do is uh, get him to stop like right here. So Take that. Alright, I'm going to speed this part up. Well, the villager's not here. I wonder if he got pushed back. I don't know. I, I went and grabbed some speed potions. Was it already about to go away? Oh, no. We're getting the speed from the... Okay, gotcha. I don't know. Maybe there was a cart up there already? I don't really know. Okay, let's drink another potion. I don't think he would have despawned that fast. Because villagers don't really despawn, so... Oh, where is he? He's got to be back at the other spot. I mean, it's so much faster running down these things when you fucking have a potion. I would use the cart, but that's... Oh, there he is right there. Okay, good. Whew. All right, so we need to switch the track. Every time this... For some reason, I need to look at the redstone or something for this. Every time I have to do that just to get this to default back to the natural track there. All right. Um, let me hit the button. Be on your way, man. I can almost fucking catch him. <laughs> speed 2 for the win. These are speed 2, right? No, they're just... Okay. Uh, not speed 2, just extended speed 1 potions. Good enough. He should be stopping any second now. Here we go. All right, so what we're going to do now is sleep. There we go. Fucking particles for days, man. Okay, so we're going to leave him up there for a minute. Um, let's see. Do we have any wood? We need, we're going to need to make doors, so I'll probably just keep using that, but he should be okay up there. Um... Let's see. I'm going to make this room probably... I, I mean, it doesn't need to be, like, all that deep, but it just needs to be deep enough for him. So, like, that should be perfect. As far as depth goes, I think, like, four wide will be okay. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just do six to make it even. There we go. So, uh, yeah, we'll fill this up, or we'll break this out, 
Um, that way he'll have an area and I'll put doors down here and then we'll put a trip wire in. Luckily, I've got the fastest shovel in town. <laughs> I just like broke out this entire area in like two seconds pretty much. Alright, that should be good enough. Let's go ahead and make this look even. Oops. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. I'm just going off theory of how villagers work. So I'm hoping that it does. Iron. There we go. I'll probably end up cleaning this up later because I want to see that it works first. Okay, let's fill this up. Okay, we're looking good there. Let's go up here. So we need to make a bridge for him to get down, which we could actually probably just go right here and do it. Yeah, let's fill this up. And we'll push him into the hole. Let's make a uh, staircase so we can push him down. All right, villager, me and you, buddy. Me and you. Whoa. Chill out with all that flying around shit there, champ. Let me get this out just in case it's about to break, oh no. I didn't think about taking the cactus, so one of those don't like there's any, okay. Say so they're dumb enough to run into cactus, so. <clears throat> Sorry, my mouth was like super far away from my, uh, my mic was like far away from my face. Don't you fall in there. Okay. Plan B. Build up around him. Go that way. Go that way. Go that way. Yeah. He's making this tough on me. He's like, you shall not have a time day sensor. But that would be so sweet. <laughs> Can't deny, villager. Time day sensors are awesome. I've never made one before, and I'm really hoping that this works because we would just wasted like an hour of our time. Go in there. Go in there. Go in there. Oh, we're so close. He doesn't really want to move, though. You notice that? Like, he normally they walk. He hasn't been walking. He just looks at me. Don't worry, villager. I got your back, buddy. You just need to trust me on this. Oh my god, dude. Played you! <laughs> now your ass is stuck, hater. Okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna build the rest of this. We need to put in some doors and like kind of like a house area for him. And that way, when it's day and nighttime, he'll go through the doors or like set off a tripwire. Uh, so that's what I'll do next. Uh, I'll be back, guys. Alright guys, well I got him in there and I got like a little house built. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. He won't go through the door. It's nighttime. there's lights in there, he's out in the open. But he won't go through it for some reason. Maybe he just needs more room? I don't really know. Uh, maybe if I put more doors on the inside of that place or something? I don't know. Give me some suggestions, that way I can figure out what the heck I'm doing wrong here. I've never made one of these before, so I'm sure that I did something wrong, who knows. Uh, go in the door. If there was baddies out here, you would go in the door. Is it on peaceful? What the hell? No wonder. Go through the door? Where's a zombie when you need one, huh? <laughs> I kill the fuck out of a zombie. He tries to hurt my villager. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay. Well... Um, let's go ahead and we'll cover him back up, uh, figure it out once you guys leave me some comments. Um, and then we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the next greenhouse, which will be the very back greenhouse. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, I've been watching our villager here. What should we name him, by the way? 
I don't know, maybe Joe? I think we're gonna call him Villager Joe. And uh, he's actually used the door. Um, I've heard it a couple times now. And um, he was just in it a second ago and he went out of it. So maybe, no, no, no. What's going on here? What are we doing? I don't know. I haven't actually, I've, I need to build the frame in a second. I haven't done that just yet. That takes a little bit of time to do because of the single blocks. Um, uh, we're gonna keep watching him and uh, I'll let you know if, uh, what, what he does. But as of right now, he is outside. So maybe if I keep the glass here, he'll recognize that it's like daytime or something. I don't know, he should know automatically, but. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get the frame done and I'll be back. All right, so he went back inside for some reason. I'm not sure what he's doing. Hmm. This is not good. <laughs> maybe his room needs to, like I said, maybe it needs to have more doors or something. I'm not sure. Um, but this is pretty uncontrollable right now. We'll have to see what he does during the nighttime, I guess. All right, guys, it's just about nighttime. Um, I've got all our glass, our frames ready. This house is gonna be for sugarcane, so uh, this one's gonna be pretty easy. I don't even think we have any sugarcane over here, though. Uh, oh, we just, we just heard the door move. There we go. So he's in the corner now. I wonder if he recognizes that it's dark, but he's been going back and forth all day. As long as he stays inside during the night time, <laughs> then we're good. I don't care if the lights flicker on and off daily. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is at nighttime, I want them to stay on. We might have to find some other solution to a time day sensor if this doesn't work. Why you no go inside? It's dark. All the monsters are about to get you. He's like, what you doing, homie? Just wait till a zombie recognizes him. Maybe, uh, I don't know if zombies can see through the glass or not to see them. They see through doors all the time. Hmm. Why you don't work the way I want you to? He's just standing there. He's like, I don't give a fuck. So I don't care, bruh. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, I'll get this next one finished and we'll do the uh, the sugar cane in a second. There's some over there. We'll be okay. All right, guys. So this since this one is a, uh, a sugar cane one, this one's going to be actually really easy to do. Like, we're pretty much almost already done with it. Um, the only thing we've got a really left to do is just to plant the sugar cane and pour water rose, which we are doing right now. I am uh, going to try out the old myth of... Um, uh, sugar cane grows faster on uh, something else other than dirt so uh, we're gonna try it on sand which is uh, the recommended I guess you would say so a lot of people use to grow their sugar cane so uh, what we're doing now is we're replacing these rows with sand just so it looks a tiny bit better uh, there we go because we have a ton of sand now dude place a block down there we go uh, my inventory is full once again we're gonna do it every other row, so here and here as well, and then we'll have full rows of sugar cane. I know it's not the most efficient thing in the world, but uh, to be honest with you, we already have like a good amount of sugar cane, so we really don't need a lot um, unless we really get into brewing the speed potions um, or making cake or something. I don't really know. So this should suffice like perfectly fine. Um, okay, so let's get rid of this. We still, I still have to do the ceiling. Uh, I ran out of leaves again, so that'll probably be something I do off camera. By the way, me and Krusty were cave exploring last night on uh, Blockville. I found my first chest enchantment, um, as in a chest that you find in a dungeon. I found a Smite 5 book, and I was like, ooh, I was all excited, you know. Krusty finds another dungeon, finds fucking Thorns 3, lucky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> what uh so that leads me to the question that i want to ask you guys today what is the best enchantment you found in a dungeon if you found one because it is relatively new um like this snapshot new <laughs> um and if you don't know what i'm talking about with 1.46 is what we're on right now um they added uh book enchantments which you should know by now because we did those with the snapshot um, the book enchantments are now in chests, so uh, you have a good opportunity to get some of those. 
Um, so, if you have found any, what have you found? I mean, you found like a sharpness 5, what's up, you know, let me have it, because I can use it. No, I don't want your guys' enchantments, you silly noobs. No. There we go. It's funny, like, uh, all the guys on the server pretty much have like a really big established house, you know, and it's, it's okay. Me? I spent a day and a half on my entrance. <laughs> I did, I literally did. Uh, and yesterday was the first day that we I had actually started building other rooms and I have a ton of work to do, so. Um, there we go, so that's good to go. I wish I could pick some of that up. Here, let's combine these. Go and pick this up now. I just don't like blocks hanging around down there, that's all. That's good, okay, so we I found 15 laying around uh, it's like out there. All right, so let's just do this evenly. There's uh, five rows, so we'll be able to do three in each. And once those grow, we will do more. We still need to do the ceiling, of course, but uh, that'll come later on. I'm not too worried. <laughs> worried about that right now. I hear an Enderman. Oh, there he is. I just want to make sure he wasn't in here stealing my shit, man. <clears throat> Bring it on, Enderman. I'm trying to test out the armor tweaks that they did. You gonna hit me, bro? You gonna hit me? Come on. Hmm, guess not. He's a big pansy. Alright. So he's outside right now. Man, I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and move on. Oh my god, I'm so close! <laughs> Look at my XP bar, guys. <laughs> oh shit, there's a bunch of mobs coming. We should be okay. Uh, I wanted to do uh, a book enchantment this episode. We didn't do one last time, so... There we go, level 30. Awesome. Alright! We'll just let those guys build up. Okay, time to grab a book. And off to the enchanting table. Man, I hope we get something good this time. The last couple ones have been terrible. Oh shit, Silk Touch. Wow, that was lucky. Oh my god, I don't want to use it. I'm scared. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome, guys. I'm excited. We finally got a good, a good enchantment. Finally, good lord. That was after like four tries of getting nothing. So, huh, hey there, what you doing? <laughs> uh, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's survival. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating below, as it does help my channel um, tremendously. And it gives me more motivation to make videos for you awesome Jevenators. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, this is Ijevin. Peace out.